Hello, all you beautiful people. Welcome back to another episode of Rapper Reacts. My name is Rob Robbie. Thank you so much for tuning in. Ah, uh, thank you for joining me. Uh, today, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to re be reacting to Britain's Got Talent. There is a performance that caught my eye, mainly because um, I love The Greatest Showman. It is something that I've been kind of obsessed with ever since I started reacting to it. The songs are very, very well uh, written. They're heartfelt. And even though um, the subject of the uh, musical, the guy's not a great person, but whoever wrote that musical really hit it out the ballpark. And um, so I saw this Never Enough from Britain's Got Talent. I saw it come up on my feed. And um, I wanted to give it a listen. Um, and I see it has 28, 29 million views. So, um, I want to give it a, check it out. Uh, I think I've said this before. Um, I don't, I think I've said this before. I've said it to other people, but this is one of those songs that always wins every single talent show I've ever seen it in. I've heard this song a lot, a lot, a lot. And no matter where I hear it, if you're on a talent show and you sing this song, you automatically win. I know people who don't even sing. Don't sing at all, and they have gotten far just with this song because this is a song that doesn't need, it doesn't need great singing. Great singing is just a bonus, but the meaning behind the song is just gonna take you there. If you're, whatever it is, it's one of those songs that just makes you emotional when you hear it because it is such a powerful song, and it's so subtle and it builds. A lot of songs from Greatest Showman are like that. They're subtle and they build, and you can tell that it's. Like, it's the same writers for every song, if not, like, most of them, because they have that style. This one, in particular, the most. So I'm excited to hear what Lauren Allred, Lauren, the, I've never seen Lauren spelled like this, but, unless it's Lauren, but I'm excited to see uh, what she's going to bring to the table and her rendition of this song. Let's see. It's got to be 29 million worth of awesomeness, so let's check it out. Welcome. What's your name? My name's Lauren. And where are you from? From Brooklyn, New York. Is that right? You can just do it yes. anywhere. So you can just go to any talent show. Talents? Most of my favorite singers are from the UK, so I thought I'd come pay a visit to you guys. That's not why okay. she came. So Lauren, <laughs> tell me a bit about you. Uh, I think some of you guys have actually heard my voice, but you don't know my face. Um, I sang the song Never Enough on The Greatest Sh Showman. Oh my God! Oh my God! Like she sang it in the musical? Oh my God! Because I don't remember seeing her. So I was hired to do the reference vocals for the actresses so they could learn the songs. And so they had me come in and sing Never Enough. And it really was Rebecca Ferguson who plays Jenny Lind who said, I think that Lauren should sing the song and I'll lip sync. So you sang one of the biggest oh, wow. songs of all time. You've now revealed it wasn't the actor. So she just who sang the song in the movie. It so she lip synced it. That song. So why didn't you get that? And she killed it after the song. I was. Pause. Okay. So we know, straight up, she's got to sound amazing because I thought it was uh, Rebecca Ferguson singing it. So news to me. She's got to sound amazing and. So I, now I have a huge expectation, and she's making me nervous because I can tell she's nervous, and her nervous energy is making me nervous, and I can just imagine being there in front of all these people, and Britain, where all her favorite singers are from. Anyways, <laughs> I'm really excited to hear what she sounds like because if that movie was any indication, all right, let me keep going. More comfortable singing behind the scenes, but I feel mm -hmm. kind of like the song was meant for me, and I'm I'm kind of ready to put a face to the song. So, I'm here to do that. She's so nervous. Are you going to sing that tonight? It's making me, yes. it's making me nervous. It's a great thing to watch. <laughs> Good luck. nervous 
I got hit with a commercial. What in the world? I keep getting hit with commercials. This is insane. <sighs> Goodness gracious. All right, let's get ready. I'm trying to hold my breath. Let it stay this way Can't let this moment end You set off a dream in me Getting louder now Can you hear it echoing? Take my hand Will you share this? You can see her hands shaking. She's very nervous. Um, and you can hear it in her voice as well. She still sounds amazing. Mm -hmm. But it's like I'm getting transported there. Like, I feel like, I don't know. I, I just, this is moving me. And I've said it from the beginning. It's like, whatever, she's got something. I don't know. They say some people have that it factor. Whatever it is, she's kind of transporting me into her emotions and what this song means to her. And I can feel it. I can also feel her nervousness and that's kind of making me feel some type of way but this is this is beautiful to uh, behold with me a starling without you all the shine of a thousand spotlights all the stars we steal from the night sky will never be That was amazing. That was amazing. That was amazing. That's moving. That's really moving. That's amazing. That's amazing. I gotta turn this off. This is making me emotional. Um, that was that was that was incredible. I don't even have anything to say. Um, that was incredible. Um, it's interesting. Um, 
how some people, they don't have the fortune of being the big names. And so they always just relegate it to the background. Uh, I think I want to say either Shania Twain or, um, oh, what's her name? It's not Shania Twain. It's uh, the other one who was Michael Jackson's backup singer. A lot of times she ended up getting her chance to shine. But a lot of times people with so much talent, supreme talent, they don't get a chance. And so this was her chance to really uh, shine and and, and, uh, make a name for herself. And I think she sounds absolutely incredible. Lauren Allred. Um, And to know that this is probably, I think, the most the second most moving song um, next to uh, This Is Me. Um, But this is the song I've heard the most from the movie. And to just know that she was this uh, faceless voice that the voice of an angel and to not get that recognition, I'm happy she's getting recognition and going around the world and uh, letting people know who she is. Like, this is me. And I think that um, that musical, um, The Greatest Showman, did a lot for a lot of these singers. I'm really uh, kind of moved right now. Um, even though I don't believe her, her favorite singers are from England. Um, anyway, um, I'm really moved right now. I, this is an incredible performance. Um I hope to hear more from her and uh someone needs to write her a song that's just like on this level because she's got like I said the voice of an angel and um it just sucks man it sucks that there's so many talented people and they'll they never get recognition and they have to go on shows like this and basically prove themselves in ways that I think um other people haven't had to, but you know, a lot of the most popular singers aren't the best singers, but whatever. I don't want to get on the soapbox. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, this has kind of made me uh, feel something, and I'm not used to that. Uh, not like this. Uh, anyways, uh, please tune in next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and leave a comment below. Thank you. Bye-bye.